One of the advantages, well, the only advantage, of mooring near a lock is that in the morning you can take a short stroll and set it all up for yourself. It looks like I'm approaching the outer edges of the HS2 development in the area and I'm very disappointed to see that this once fabulous cottage down here which I passed in season one appears to have had a compulsory purchase order on it or they made the owners such an offer they couldn't refuse as it's now fenced off and deserted what a crying shame of Aslan and the Gent. Have you seen their travels before? Well, did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. Fortunately, we live in a free society, so things like compulsory purchase orders don't happen. Um, oh, hang on a second. Let's take a look and see what other progress has been made along the canal. All these once populated private moorings are no more. Good old HS2, the high speed rail link, which was sold on the promise of saving you 15 minutes between Manchester and London. With the extra promise that the route would continue on as far north as Leeds and eventually branch off to areas such as Cumbria. Of course, as is the way of things, the project ran way over budget and has gone from the original 25 billion to an estimated 100 billion. The icing on the cake is that phases two and three from Manchester to Leeds and from Manchester to Cumbria have been shelved. And the cherry on top, it also won't be delivering on that original 15 minute time saving. The main reason for building it in the first place. Next lock just ahead.
14 days, but where is everyone? Well, that's a bonus. This lady's going to do the lock for me, and then her husband is in the next lock down, and he's waiting there so he can cross over. I go into that one, and there's another boat waiting to come up, so they'll do the lock for me there as well. We're away. The last one. Well, that's it. That's probably the quickest three locks I've been through in a long time. Just a right turn down here, through a swing bridge, onto the Coventry Canal, and visitor moorings, quite literally, straight after. I decided not to head straight on and continue down the Trenton Mersey because that eventually leads to the River Saw and Sawley Junction, which I've already been down. Plus it isn't a very good idea to do rivers in the winter. Not in my book anyway. the Swan Pub and the Laughing Duck is just a bit further down the canal there and a kind gentleman has just opened the swing bridge for me water point by there goodbye Trenton Mersey and hello Coventry Canal Okay, Fradley Junction, a quick change of attire, and then I'm going to go and get a coffee from the Laughing Duck Cafe. Fradley Junction and whilst most of the canal system slumbers through the winter Fradley Junction and other major junctions always seem to have the life going throughout the year any sunny day is an excuse to go out and look at some boats I think a nice pint of Guinness later but for now I'm off down to the Laughing Duck for a coffee
I had no idea this was here, right next to the canal. Fradley Nature Reserve. And going by the sluice gate here, either an overflow for the canal or a water reserve top up for the canal. Hey, hello little Robin. Mm -hmm. Having a good old fill up there. So yeah, it's not every day you get to film a sweet shop on the canal. One lovely couple there and they have a sweet shop on their boat next to the canal so I've bought some uh, cherry bonbons and what else did I get I can't remember what did I get licorice comforts I think And, uh, nice and firm. Mmm. Oh, lovely flavour. Mmm. And cherry bonbons. Blimey. Mmm. Well, the danger with sweets is it's not possible just to have a two or three. Oh well. Very nice. Fradley Junction is one of those canal areas which sits on its own and in this case still offers its own sustainable and unique way of life.
just three and a half miles today to King's Orchard Marina where I need to top up my diesel and buy some smokeless fuel for the fire. Had a very enjoyable pint of Guinness in the Swan pub last night. So nice in fact that I had intended on having two. But unfortunately at that point a gentleman walked in with such an horrendous and continual cough that I decided against it. If for no other reason really then the last thing I want right now is a stinking cold. main dual carriageway makes a brief appearance. I couldn't find the number of the road but it has the strange name of Reichnild. Ricknild? R-Y-K-N-I-L-D. Ricknild. What a fabulous window. That rain's back but more of a drizzle this one. Hey! Ah, the uh, gentleman on the boat there. I passed him about a week ago on the trip and he was having some issues with his engine. It would run fine for a bit and then just suddenly bog down and stop. All I could think of was fueling problem. Like maybe water in the diesel or air or crud something like that and he's just told me it's all been fixed it was a blocked fuel filter always nice when it's something really simple and cheap though I imagine the mechanic costs more than the parts involved which is why I like to do everything myself Welcome to the rainy season, mate. I'm 
Anyway, I was uh, taking a break uh, from the filming because it was raining, but it's stopped now. And I had to glance behind and there was this boat right behind me. I must have been, I don't know, I departed this body and gone somewhere else for five minutes. Yeah, I was miles away. Such are the meditative, meditative qualities of the canals. Strathe Wharf up ahead. just make out King's Orchard Marina up ahead. Actually, I think I'll moor up here. Now, this rain is off and on, and there's a wind picking up. I think I timed that rather well. It's gone dark and gloomy, but this is a, a fabulous spot. Tomorrow I can go into Great, uh, not Great Haywood, what am I on about? Uh, King's Orchard Marina. <laughs> Fill up, buy some coal, and then I can continue on to Tamworth. I've left one of my mooring chains back down at the mooring outside King's Orchard Marina. What a warm, friendly place. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs>